Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And today I'm doing a dessert collab with Southern Tennessee Mom and Pam's Cutting Board. And we are doing Valentine desserts. I thought this would be a perfect, quick, and easy dessert. Three ingredients. It could be only two ingredients if you don't like the maraschino cherries. So you're gonna take a box of angel food cake mix. You're going to take a can of the pineapple tidbits and you're going to mix them all together. So let's go ahead and get that started. All right, I've got my bowl and I have my angel food cake batter here. And I also have our pineapple. Now I got this recipe and you literally just dump it in there. I got this recipe from my aunt who is also a beauty and she watches this channel. I'm pretty sure she used um, like crushed pineapple, but I didn't have it. So I'm using the, um, the pineapple tidbits and I think that'll give the pineapple-y like solid, <laughs> I'm hoping but it was so delicious. She made some for my dad and I snuck some and it was to die for. So this is how she made it. A pack, I was like, I need the recipe. She said it's a can of pineapple and a angel food cake mix. Look how quickly that's all coming together. So I'm like, okay, well, let's try it. And I wasn't sure, I'm like, like drain and would you would you add? She's like, nope, you just put the can in there. So that is what I'm doing. So Aunt Rose, if you are watching this, put in the comments <laughs> if I'm doing anything wrong. So it tasted so good. I said, oh my goodness, this tastes like a pineapple upside down cake. So I've got some lined cupcakes. Now she did it all in a in a pan, I believe. When she brought it over, it was not, um, it was already cut and prepared. So I am gonna do it in some cupcake tins or some cupcake liners. I have my grandsons coming over and they love cupcakes. So we're gonna try that. And I don't know, I. If I'm thinking properly, I don't know how much it rises up, so I'm thinking you could probably fill these a fair amount of the way. But I'm not gonna sit here and make you guys go through all this, but I'm just gonna do a couple. And then I took the maraschino cherries out and put them in a large coffee cup. That way I could take my little fondue mixer here and stab one <laughs> quick and easy. And then I will take this little guy, well, we'll see, and drop one in each. And I'm sure it'll go down toward the bottom. But just stabbing another one and putting it in there. Of course, I stuck this back in the batter because I don't think but I'm just gonna put those in like that. And I'm thinking they might turn out pretty tasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest and I will be back when it's done. I'm doing it at 350 degrees. And the box says between 28 to 47 minutes. So I'm gonna try it at the 28 and then count from there and I will let you know how long it takes. So um, actually, I think I will uh, fill some of these out because again, I wanted to tell you that this is a collaboration and you guys, I'm going to put the links down below and I think I am the one who's behind. I thought it was supposed to be up today and I, was, oop, I wasn't sure of the time and so please, please check out their channels, send them some love, let them know that you came from my channel and if you are here from their channel hello and welcome i would love for you to be a beauty all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you are in instant beauty how about that that's quick and easy right 
because that's what we're about here on this channel. <laughs> Quick and easy and fun. So, all right, it looks like this is gonna make a whole lot more because look at that, I still have a ton. So I will do the first batch and I will be back. All right, here we go. They turned out huge, <laughs> but they, um, they look like they're nice and brown, um, but look at, they still have some nice fluff to them. So I'm excited for these little guys to cool down. They do not look amazing from the top, but I do know that they taste amazing. <laughs> and I had enough left over after making my 12 that I made a, a pie pan one. So we will see. All right, I'm gonna let them cool and then we'll look at them. Okay, like I said, don't. <laughs> I thought you could overfill them, but make sure you don't. And you guys, look at this. So beautiful. And it tastes so good. This is definitely not burnt. It's nice and uh, has a nice little bite to it. So give it a try. Look how beautiful that is. All right, beauties. Again, don't forget to join. Oh, by the way, this took um, 30 minutes. So it could probably, if you want it a little bit lighter, maybe go 28 minutes. But I've got to eat this. It's so good. Um, and don't forget to check out those other channels. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.